Across many sectors, digital technology has offered unmatched potential in solving the world's most pressing issues. From combating global hunger to preserving nature, there is no doubt the limitless avenue we enjoy now because of technology. Climate change, a more recent discussion, is one of the many areas that technology can play a relevant role. In 2021, Youth Bridge Foundation initiated the Youth Plan to Own a Tree campaign to contribute to Ghana's nature-based adaptation and mitigation strategy. This campaign was anchored in the Youth Bridge Foundation's Climate Agenda Pillar, which promotes and advocates for youth-centered climate education and awareness raising on climate change mitigation, adaptation and resilience. The Plant to Own a Tree campaign seeks to mobilize 1 million youth to plant and be responsible for the growth of at least 1 million trees in their communities. After a successful launch at the Conference of Parties COP26 in Glasgow, UK in November 2021, Nature for Climate, a conglomerate of 19 global climate-focused organizations, partnered with US-based organization, if not for us, then who, to fund Youth Bridge Foundation in implementing a pilot phase called Yapa Project in the Insawem Adwejri Municipal Assembly in the eastern region of Ghana in May 2022. Diapa, which literally means good tree, connotes the importance of tree in the reforestation agenda. The project rise on the use of a mobile application originally used for mountain biking to track and monitor the growth of trees. It's mobilized community youth to plant medicinal plants on an acre of land and train them to collect data for a phone, monitor, track plant growth, and capture aerial views of landscape to track the change on their degraded lands. This innovation was successfully adopted in Amazon Forest, Peru. Now, six months down the line, we're here again at Bokrum, where these trees were planted to showcase and capture the lessons learned from the Japa project and also to harness strength for future collaboration. Join me and let's interact with the indigents. Uh, my name is Isaac Ojobuabi, MC for Insan Madwejri. The Drapa project has impacted to a lot of people within the community, that is Bokrum. It has uh, made them know how to plant. That is, in agriculture, the way they plant uh, now, they really know how the plant is being uh, germinated and then how they are in, in line and how they apply uh, water or system they have to do to make the plant become well. Now, it, 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 have, it has really imparted to them. Initially, the, the youth uh, were staying ideal. They don't have anything to do, but now due to the upper activity or plantation, it has been employed some of the boys into the Duapa plantation. And for them to stay ideal now, they don't. So indeed, the Duapa plantation has helped the people in the community. Uh, the youth in other communities in Ghana, and uh, even in North Ghana alone globally, should buy into Duapa plantation as a, a medicinal plantation and also make Ghana as a home for herbal plantation. I, as a Kojobu MC for Nsao Madwejri, endorses Youth Bridge Foundation Youth Plan to own a tree campaign. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you my name is Kinsley Kwesi Ampofu, and I am the youth organizer for the Duapa project in Bokrum. When we heard the community had been selected, we all came on board because we understand the government alone cannot do it all. When Youth Bridge Foundation and its partners came to our community, we were excited because our community will be the ultimate beneficiary. We mobilized our young people 
to receive the training and technology to plant the trees. Now we see the growth and length of the trees and we are very happy. Soon, we can commercialize the sale of the medicinal trees and expand the project. My advice is that the youth of Ghana should support NGOs when they come to their communities by getting involved because it's not only the work of the government. I believe the tree planting exercise will bring development to our community. At first, we planted trees anyhow, but now I know the right way of planting trees in rows. I also get some allowance from my participation in the monitoring of the trees. So we head into the farms to see the work going on there. And one of the medicinal plants, which is Moringa, is also ready for harvesting. So we are going to learn and see how it's being harvested. I am Afu Lucinda. I am a beneficiary of the Diapa project brought by the Youth Bridge Foundation. We planted medicinal plants like Ephomuisa, Moringa and Guava. We have been coming here weekly to read and also monthly to take data using the phone and a tape measure. My name is Kweku Apiedu. I am the chief for the youth in Bokrom community. When Youth Bridge Foundation introduced the project to us, we the traditional authorities accepted the initiative. Our chief secured a degraded yet fertile land which has helped the trees to grow well. We visited the farm and were impressed with the growth of the trees. We know our lands are fertile and planting on them will benefit us all. We have spoken to the youth to keep up the good work and encourage more farm owners to plant medicinal trees and expand the project. We thank Youth Bridge Foundation and its partners for bringing this project to Bokrom. We want more of these projects in our communities because it has got our youth working. We are hopeful that in a few weeks to come, we can fall on these medicinal trees to cure our community members when they fall sick. We just got back from the farms and through the use of indigenous knowledge and application of technologies, the trees we planted six months ago are doing so well and have grown beautifully that we were able to even harvest some Moringa. YBA facilitates youth participation in Ghana's nature-based adaptation and mitigation strategy. We therefore call for a multi-stakeholders engagement on youth participation in the reafforestation project as a call for all. I am Nketia Victor. I work with the Plant Genetic Resources Research Institute. The CSR Plant Genetic Resources Research Institute is mandated to conserve and promote utilization of plant genetic resources. The CSR PGRI is a technical partner on the Youth Bridge Foundation Diapa pilot project in Bokru. We are in this partnership because we provide seedlings of high medicinal value and also we provide technical support for the maintenance of the seedlings on the field. The CSR PGRI is particularly excited about this partnership because the project seeks to prevent the extinction of plant genetic resources, an activity which is a major drive to our conservation mandate. The CSR PGRI therefore endorses the Youth Bridge Foundation Plant to Own a Tree campaign because there is a need for a youth-centered action to advance the climate agenda. Indeed, it was such a joy receiving you and your partners, the Nature for Climate. It really gladdened my heart that Youth Bridge Foundation, an indigenous foundation, had taken up in supporting a government program for greening Ghana, 
through tree planting. And in this respect, yours was so dynamic and very welcoming because you were doing purely medicinal plants, which are gradually becoming extinct in our forest. Returning to me once more, I want to show my appreciation that, yes, indeed, you came and added and you made us proud. It's a privilege, and in this instance, one of mine as the representative of His Excellency, the President of the Republic in the region, I endorse this Duapa project. Indeed, it is one unique enterprise the region has ever seen. And I congratulate you. I pray for more such partnerships. By you being an industry leader, I say kudos. Thank you.